Hello Poopchick, this is your Baba here and today I want to talk to you about sacred Easter bread called Babka. And Babka is a diminutive or affectionate name for Baba, Grandma. And uh, this is extremely old tradition and it comes from Ukrainian tradition of being matriarchal culture. Woman is head of tribe and head of household. And uh, we know this because Ukraina is site of most prolific troves of archaeological finds of woman figurines, goddess figurines. Um, so we always honoring female principle. Even at Spring Equinox, in uh, my other video where I talk a little bit about Spring Equinox, and, and I tell you that we do not even dig into earth until uh, a first day of spring, because we honor body of Mother Earth, Sira Mata Zemia, moist Mother Earth everything grow from her body and of course long thousands of years ago our ancestors know that uh, all life come from woman's body and uh, it you know and life spring from earth so between this is going to just surprise you if you've never seen before it i just could not believe it's so amazing um between um, five and six thousand years ago, our Scythian and a Sarmatian ancestor throughout Ukraine, they build these kamyane babe, stone babas. Okay, imagine these are, are six feet tall, and you see she have um, all sorts symbols carved into her animals, tools handprints to say hello i was here <laughs> i made this statue you see and um waves and today you you, uh, you will uh, see the wave design on our um our pesinki uh, on our easter eggs it can symbolize um waves in in uh, water and can be part of spiral that is a symbol of continued life, DNA, cosmos, and uh, spiral also trap evil inside, so can't get to you. Okay, and here is other amazing stone baba. I just, I just love this one so much. Look at that. Look at her. Oh, did that get a little bit fuzzy? Okay, camera operator. Okay. And you can see size of this stone baba because that is step eagle on her head. You behave yourself, eagle. You go bathroom somewhere else. And you know what else I love about this stone baba in particular? Is you can see our ancestor did not make women try to be perfect shape, skinny, firm all the time, young. No. They make the depiction of woman when she is old and, uh, you know, body starting to, to go places, you know, that uh, in North America people get very distressed when, when bodies start to go places, you know. And, but instead our ancestors say this is beautiful. And you know what is so beautiful too is actual, these were mostly used as grave marker. Can you imagine comfort of knowing that your Baba, powerful woman, is looking over you and your grave and looking after you in heaven and spirit world? So um, this is part of how Ukrainsky people, we maintain strong connection to our ancestors throughout history. And you, of course, at uh, Christmas time, we use a sheaf of wheat to portray our, uh, our grandfather um, and, and our ancestors. And then at Easter, we focus on feminine nurturing of life. So um, grandfather, so male principle take over winter and female principle take over spring for abundance of, of new life. It's very beautiful. So this is why one of our sacred uh, Easter breads is called babka or baba because rep represent strong female principle and wise wisdom one, you know, wise like your Baba here. And uh, 
of one of Baba's fans, Daria Adams, she sent a beautiful photo of her Easter basket. So I want to show you um, Daria's babka right there, okay? And um, see, so you see his tallest thing in basket? And also Daria have decoration here, uh, look like XB, and this stand for Christian tradition in uh, many Ukrainian people's lives. So two things go together. You know, we have our ancient uh, nature principles and, and honoring of uh, female spirit and, and uh, matriarchal culture. And then we have newer tradition of Christianity and XB stand for Christos Voskres. And uh, we say this to each other at Easter time, Christ is risen. So, um, you know, and also we relate this to rising of our breads, rising of babka and rising of pascha, and uh, both rising of new life in spring and rising of Christ from, from grave is why we make so many risings with our bread. Okay, you take all day to make these breads, and uh, you do this in spirit of holiness and meditation to, to show respect and honor and, and love for new life and for a resurrection of life and continuity of life that is eternal, whichever way you, you celebrate. And uh, here is another photo sent to me by my fan, uh, Carolyn Davaduk. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, here is her Pascha in center. And over here is her style of babka, okay? And you see she make plain one and then wrap with beautiful uh, Ukrainsky paper. And that is fine. And there is a pesinke. So this is another way of, of making and, and that is perfectly legitimate and fine. Oh, and I just back to uh, Daria's photo. Um, you see she put icing and sprinkle on top. And you can ice different kinds. Um, if you look at my babka and pasca recipes, uh, uh, you can get uh, free on my website. You just click sign up above, or if you're on YouTube, click sign up below, and you're going to get pasca and, and, and babka recipes. And I give you different kinds of icing, um, plain icing, orange icing, ram icing. Um, it's very good. Uh, but those sprinkles always used to be poppy seeds because was another symbol of fertility and abundance in spring. You know how, again, referring back to Christmas, um, you know how we make McEwnick and, and we use uh, make big paste out of del delicious poppy seed for McEwnick poppy seed roll. In springtime, we put poppy seed on top of babka. But in uh, modern times, some people have, actually many people, have replaced uh, poppy seed with baker sprinkles because it's more cut off, colorful. Um, same symbolism, same meaning, you know, is, is fine. I, I prefer uh, poppy seed, but, is, you know, this, that, but I just want to tell you what the sprinkles mean to us, you know. So if you're making babka and you want uh, to have, uh, you know, thinking of making baby, maybe adopting one, trying to make a process go through or you can focus on more abundance and prosperity for yourself your friends and family and for this you use your poppy seeds so um poopchik i hope you have enjoyed this this little uh ukrainian history lesson and uh, i want to remind you that uh is entire chapter of uh, a spring easter tradition in my book baba's kitchen ukrainian soul food there is 200 recipe and uh, a whole chapter of of home remedy so 200 recipes and home remedies in this book and uh so you're going to find it also on my website and um you're going to learn in boom oh, pardon me i need kava i need coffee Ah, yes. Um, so you're going to also find this whole Easter chapter and you learn how to make very nice glazed ham and horseradish sauce and um, a whole m lots of uh, Easter lore about our pussy villa legend and tradition, um, about baking Pascha tradition. Uh, uh, 
oh just so much more and uh, also make sure that uh, you watch rest of my Easter video is if you are on Facebook they are uh, you can click on videos in sidebar and there you find more uh, Easter tradition videos and also on YouTube on my channel Baba's Kitchen Ukrainian Soul Food I have channel on YouTube so Popchik, make sure you uh, click above uh, to sign up for a free newsletter and free Easter recipes. Make your Pascha and Babka. And uh, these printable, so you can even print off ingredients and uh, take to supermarket with you. Okay, Popchik, don't you take no food and cabbage roll.